Rotarians, District Trainer Linda here, talking to you today about meetings and a few more ideas to make them really rock. By now, all of you have already had a chance to lead a lot of different types of meetings. You've probably led weekly club meetings and board meetings and maybe even some committee meetings and meetings about special topics. So it's easy for all of us to say we know exactly what we're doing. But let me share with you a few quick tips about that you may not already know that'll help make your meetings even more productive and engaging. Most people know that you should have an agenda to keep the group focused and someone should keep minutes and individuals should have an opportunity to speak and discuss and so on. And why do so many people cringe at the thought of another meeting? Well, people tend a lot of meetings. So the first thought we should have is whether or not the topic or the issue you're discussing really warrants a meeting or maybe there's some other form of communication or way that you can get what you need done. But let's say you actually do need to meet. It's a monthly board meeting or a committee meeting. So let's take a few minutes to look at some strategies you could do to make your meetings more effective. First of all, an effective meeting should serve a useful purpose. So when you're preparing an agenda, you really need to think about the topic and what outcome you're hoping to achieve. Do you want to make a decision? Then that means you're going to need to ask for a motion and accurately record the decision. Are you wanting to generate ideas? Someone needs to keep track of the list for later reference. Are you getting status reports on projects? Are you communicating something, a district event or an update to share? You know what happens sometimes? People talk for a long, long time about a topic and then someone will stop and ask, why are we doing this? What are we trying to do here? Do we want to vote on this? Are we making a decision? Are we just planning? Are we looking at options? What exactly are we trying to accomplish? So when you're planning your agenda, think about the objective or the outcome of each topic. You might even consider putting the objective next to the topic item on the written agenda. So fundraising event, decision, or membership dinner, information sharing. And speaking of agendas, here's some things to think about when you're preparing an agenda. First of all, priorities. What absolutely must be covered in the meeting? And should this go first? Sequence. Is there a natural order of topics, like one topic needs to be discussed before the other? Timing. How much time will the group spend on each topic? Do you allot a certain amount of time to each agenda topic so you can stay on track? Is someone in the group volunteering to be the timekeeper to let us know? By the way, bonus points for starting and ending the meeting on time. You'll be a hero. In fact, your club members might even build a statue of you in the town square. Oh, okay, that's a little extreme but you will have their undying gratitude and be considered a leader who knows how to run meetings well. And finally, here's one last strategy that might help you to keep the meeting on topic. When someone starts to talk about a subject that's not part of the agenda, try using parking lot. Parking lot can be on a piece of flip chart paper or someone can even write it down for the minutes. And, and here's what it sounds like. Thanks, Jim, for your comments. They aren't directly related to what we're talking about right now, but I don't want to lose that idea. So let me write down that item in the parking lot and we'll include it in the meeting notes and I'll send it out by email so we can explore that later at the right time. So recording things in the parking lot does two things. It helps to keep the meeting focused and it acknowledges important points raised by attendees. But one word of caution though, in using parking lot, you need to follow up on that idea if you want parking lot to be truly effective. Otherwise, it just looks like you're going through the motions and not being genuine. So there you have it. Just a few strategies for making your club meetings even better. Be clear about your objective or goal for the meeting and for the agenda items in the meeting. Think about the order of topics on the agenda and include time limits and stick to these time limits whenever you can. And consider using the parking lot method, especially if you have members who tend to go off track and wander. So until next time, boldly go.